a lot of parents ask me, so I haven't spoken to my children about sex before and my son is now 13 and I want to start talking to about his decisions and exposure on online activities and things and do I, do I think it's a good idea to start talking to them about sex? Now, I believe we need to start much earlier than teenagers' years, but let's say you haven't started talking to your children about sex and they are approaching their teenagers' years. Now, I believe you need to now do a little bit of damage control because they might have heard and seen some things before. But don't despair. You are here. You are ready to learn more things. So let me help you to start the conversation with our kids. And I call it Set the Stage. You can prepare and set yourself up to start a conversation positively with your teenager. So don't just wait until he's exposed to something that will get him into trouble, like pornography or you find him masturbating or viewing a dirty movie or things like that. Don't wait until that. You know in your heart you need to start talking and you don't know how to approach this. Let's set up an opportunity for you to start the conversation with good questions and you set it yourself up to that. So I don't like the traditional way that we would go away for a drive and now mom or dad's going to give you the talk. I like it when it's a little bit more, um, less uncomfortable for both parent and child, but it's more in the spur of the moment or the child will feel it's more in the spur of the moment, but you set the stage beforehand. So I like doing that. So normally I would start the conversation with fire. I like the fire ex explanation. So I will have a barbecue with my child and set it up to say, is fire good or bad? So while you are building this fire, now in South Africa, we don't do a barbecue, we braai, but it's fine. We can say barbecue for all the other people over the world. But let's say we're going to make a nice braai or barbecue and I, as you are building the fire you ask your child is fire good or bad can you see you're setting yourself up to start a conversation about passion not even sex, sex but we do want to talk about passion okay and then your child will think a little bit and say now food uh, you can make food and it can keep you hot uh, hot when you are cold, um, but it can also burn things down. You say, well, that's beautiful said, that's true. So, so as fire is burning, so is passion burning for somebody you love or you feel you're falling in love with. Now that passion, if you alight that passion in the middle of the house, it will burn your house down. If you light that passion in a fireplace or in a barbecue uh, place to build a braai, that is safe and beautiful and everybody will enjoy it. So if we look at a marriage that are happy, a, a couple that you can think of that's happily married, they made their fire in a nice fireplace and everybody can enjoy that fire and enjoy their marriage and see how, oh wow, I want that one day. Okay, they made their passion in a safe place. So we must keep our passion and make sure we make passion when we start creating that passion and when your child is feeling that first love instincts towards somebody, that they make it in a place that is safe. Now, as a, I believe the safest place is in a marriage relationship. That's a clear boundary. Um, saying when you are ready, I'm not sure if that's a clear boundary, but that's up to you as a parent. But when I talk to children, I would say the clearest and safest boundary is marriage because you know that person is committed. If you like that fire, that passion, and uh, outside of a safe boundary, it will surely burn your house down. So let's teach our children and start setting up a stage for you to say, okay, I can start talking to my children about sex. So that's just passion, and we didn't even use the word sex in that example. But you are opening the door for more conversations. Now, your 13-year-old might just roll their eyes, and that's fine. But you started the conversation, and if they have more questions, you can say, well, let's talk a little bit more about that. So there is a difference about sex drive, about loving and lasting love, okay, romantic love and lasting love. I explain that more in detail in my digital product, uh, products where I explain what's the difference about sexual drive, a romantic love and lasting love. And our decisions that our teenagers make today 
will influence their lasting life. So let's empower them by starting the conversation. Set yourself up to start a conversation with your child about sex or just about fashion. And if you need more resources, visit my website or link to my digital package and you will find all the answers there.